When you're in a new relationship, it's often hard to realize if you're in love or in lust. But the reason why lust and love can often be confused for one another is because they reside on a spectrum. The Dana Foundation refers to this spectrum as the system of emotions that complicate human life. They got that right, because love and lust complicate everything. Lena Durhali, a certified relationship expert and sex therapist, has a bunch of signs for you to figure out if you're in lust and not in love. One telltale sign is that you're obsessive. You're thinking about them constantly. You can't stop thinking about them. You're thinking about the last time you were with them. You're thinking about when are you gonna be with them next? If you're doing this and you're super obsessive about that person, you might be more on the lust spectrum and not on the love spectrum. Another sign is that you miss them incessantly. You're constantly texting them, trying to figure out where they are, what they're doing, because you probably want them to be doing you. You're probably in lust and not in love. Another sign is when you think they can do no wrong. It's super annoying. Everything they do is perfection. And remember, no one is perfect. Love is knowing someone's not perfect and loving them anyway, accepting them for who they are, not having a fake, fantastical idea of who that person is, really knowing who that person is and loving them anyway. Another telltale sign is your perspective is clouded. The way that you crave this person actually skews your rational judgment. You might actually start ignoring your friends, your family, you might cancel plans last minute if he or she calls you. You might actually start isolating yourself from all the other people in your lives just to be able to spend more and more time with that person. If you start making rash decisions to be with this person, you might be in lust and not love. Another clear sign is that having a deeper connection isn't even on your radar. Like you don't even care. You don't know what they've been doing. You don't know what their job is. You don't know what their passions are. You don't know what their life's desires are. You don't know what their goals are. And you don't even care. Are they naked yet? Stop talking. <laughs> like you really don't even wanna form a deeper connection with that person because maybe subconsciously you realize it's not really gonna go anywhere that this is Mr. or Mrs. Right now and not Mr. or Mrs. Right. Another sign that you might not be in love is if you don't feel like you're actually accepted by that person. Do you find that you're kind of being a little bit fake? You're trying to be perfect around that person 100% of the time because you don't know if they'll accept you if they realize who you really are. If that's the case, you might be in lust and not in love because when you're in a real relationship, you can be yourself 100% of the time. And while a lot of these emotions can overlap in your relationship, you can feel attachment, you can also feel lust. I mean, you can feel all of these things at the same time. It's important to be able to differentiate between lust and love because you might end up walking down the aisle when you're in lust and not in love and, you know, divorces are expensive. So, want to get lucky? Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you always know what's going down in the streets, in between the sheets, and under the covers.